Alrighty, how's it going? What do you mean, who the fuck's that? It's me, well, phase, I'll take the views. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about this Coral Bay Diver from Aerotech Watches. Kick me with my sexy gloves. Right, where the fuck's is zooming this thing? Ah, fuck me. Hold on. Right. As you can tell, I'm just fucking winging it here. I've not got a clue what I'm doing. I don't know if the lighting's right or fuck all. Did I give a shit? No. It'll get better though. I think I'll need to invest in some decent lighting. Anyway, here's something I've wanted to say for a while. Cue the fucking intro. Right, let's talk about this Aerotech. Um, what's it called again? Coral Bay Dior. Right. Let's go over the basic specs. It's 40 mil in diameter. Uh, the total thickness, including the double dome sapphire. What was that measured at? Uh, okay, it's, it's a bar here under 13 mil. Oh, excuse me. Um, log to log, I measured in uh, just over 47. It's almost 47 and a half, really. Still a good size, though. Um, let's see, what else do you need? It's obviously all... Jeez, gloves it, man. What the fuck? It's all stainless steel. You, you've got... <clears throat> uh, brushing on the side there. I can't even see if it's vertical or horizontal. I'm guessing horizontal. I need specs. I eh, uh, aye, whatever. Stainless steel, uh, case back, mid case, crown, bezel, the bezel's coin edge finishing, which is really nice actually. It's none of that shiny polish shite either. It's nice. Um uh, crown's the same. Small beveled edge right, right at the head there. Coin edge for plenty of grip. What was the size of the crown I measured in? Just over 6mm. These gloves are shite. Right. What a fucking idiot. Hold on. Fuck it, let's just carry on. Might as well just get the video done, eh? Just bump my gums like a fucking cock wumble. <clears throat> uh, where was I? Finishing, aye. It's mostly brushed, well it's brushed on the side anyway. As you can see. Unusually, it's actually, it's actually full polished on the upper side. As well as the bracelet. As you can see, it's a bit like it's brushed in the middle and it's got polished outer edges on the links. It's a bit like an Oris Aquas, really. But for the fucking class, mind you. It's one of the fucking three quid things out of pound stretcher. I do like the class, but that's the thing. That's one of the worst points of this watch, actually, is I can't even get the fucking thing open again. These fucking gloves, man, they're like mitts. I wear gloves because I bite my nails and all you fuckers will just say, hey, take his fucking nails out, little dirty bastard. I fucking bite them, I still wash them. Fucking moaning bastards. Hold on, put my gloves back on. Put that back in the shot, you can see it better. 
Right, where was a What else? We've talked about the case, the finishing, the crown. Oh, the fucking movement. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Uh, it's uh, a Mayota 9015. Obviously, we had date complication there at 6. I like that. You might have noticed if you've read my reviews. Uh, what was I going to say about the bracelet? Um, oh, no screws. It's push pins. Which is a bit disappointing. As you can see, the wee arrow there. Which direction to push the pins for resizing. Uh, the class. These, um, what do you call them again? Bridge arms. I fucking can't remember. I can't even fucking remember half the terminology that these fuckers use, man. Three bits. Three bits here. That's fully milled, which is nice. As I said, clasp is shite. I think they could throw a few more quid at it and get the the other one with six micro adjusts and it's all fully milled and it's a bit longer. Then uh, that's the kind of thing you can get for about three quid in AliExpress. It's a nice bracelet though, even though it's push pins I still really like it, seeing an on wrist as well, it's it's nice. I didn't actually think I would like it because it's polishing, you know what I mean? It's just a total scratch magnet. You see all your fingerprints and all sorts. You know, you spend half your day going with blooming these cloth things, man. Clean your wanker! See, I get OCD, man. I like it shiny. As soon as I see a fingerprint, I'm all over it trying to... See? Fuck's sake, man. Right, anyway. Case back. I fucking shut the bastard in clasp again. Case back. It's actually nice. It's got a... A deep embossed, what's that, like diver's helmet, top torso kind of thing. Uh, it's got the usual basic specs around the edges. I'm not going to go into detail about that, it's not really interesting, is it? It's a nice case back though, I've got to admit, and it, it's really smooth. There's no sharp edges or that anywhere. Uh, solid links. Well, quick release pins as well, that's quite handy, I suppose. Not really for me, as soon as it's on a bracelet, any watch on a bracelet, it stays in the bracelet. I'm not really into uh, swapping out bracelets for two-piece straps and whatnot. It's very rare to do that. Uh, the only straps I wear are... What's the ones? Um, the Velcro straps from uh, Swiss Watch Company. They're brilliant. They're excellent. Um. Oh, Erica's um, Marine National straps, they're good. The cheaper ones that you can get, they're just, oh, they're just no par oh, with the uh, Erica's. Erica's uh, straps are actually made, to, when you order it, they're actually made to fit your wrist properly. None of this brinky dink pish that you get for China that would fit wrists anything from six inches up to a fucking gorilla's fucking nine inch wrist. They're no good. They're garbage. Um, what else have I not spoke about yet? Well, the fucking dial. That'd be a handy. The dial's fucking. Dial's really nice actually. I actually like it a lot. That bezel does line up by the way. Must have knocked it. Uh, it 
it lines up perfectly. The only thing it does not line up is that fucking date complication, uh, complication at 6 o'clock. See how it's quite a bit to the right. That's a shame. But I suppose this is just a prototype, so I would expect a lot better with the production samples. The dial itself, well this one is the coral blue version. It's a sunburst dial, as you can see, it's, it's really nice. Uh, you've got applied indices right across, and, and you've got bigger ones. That, you've got that one. That, where's my fucking, where's my glove? Come here. I can't get this, see this delay between moving my hand and seeing what's happening on camera. It's a bit disorientating. Right, anyway. The, oh, get your hand to fuck. The, the marker at 12. It's nice. I like the design on it. I really like that. Yeah, it goes well with the hour hand as well. It's like a cathedral type style, if you know what I mean. Uh, you've got bigger sort of triangular sort of pointy indices at uh, 3 and 9. You've got a wee short one at 6 just, before, just below the date. And this is my other negative about this watch. See the indices there. Um, uh, where we are, where are we? 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10 and 11. They're tiny. Absolutely tiny. You'll see later on in the loom shot what I'm talking about. I think they should be bigger and push back. Because the way they've got it is they've got that quite a large minute track around the edge of the dial. But the, the, the applied indices there, they're just they're too small and they're too far into the dial. It makes it makes the watch look, well it makes the dial look really, really small. Uh, I think they should have used bigger indices. And push them back towards uh, towards uh, the the rehot. I think it would have looked better. Either that, or they just got rid of them all together and made the hour markers. Well, they are fatter in the minute track, but fatter and bigger. Just so you know, they can be filled with loom because I'm a loom junkie. Uh, Ah, there's a, let's see what else is about the date, the dial, I mean. Um, the date, it's six. Always appreciate a date at six, can't complain. They've put a frame on it, which I'm not that keen on. I just think a frame on any date complication, doesn't matter if it's at three or six. It just casts a shadow over, over the actual date aperture itself if you know what I mean it's no some I would do I like the date windows that you get with like on an Amiga Aquaterra or the majority of the Zeolos watches as well they, they date when they in my opinion the date windows are perfect just a small chamfered edge and a colour matched date wheel bang on that's what I want to see on every watch. I don't like really wearing watches that doesn't have a date complication. I find it handy. I've always found it handy. Uh, have I covered everything on the dial? Oh, the logos, their logo is applied. It's a bit like, I know what you're going to say. Oh, it's like a fucked up Star Trek logo in it. It's quite, somebody actually mentioned the other day when I posted a wrist shot on Instagram that it looked like the Axios logo. You know, the sister brand of Celos. I'm not sure. I can't remember uh, who came out first with their own logo. I'm pretty sure that Aerotech have been going longer than Axios. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I didn't really give a shit. It's just a logo at the end of the day. 
this one here on the Aerotech one, I like it. Uh, bezel action is fucking superb on this one. It really surprised me. It's quite, it's no stiff, but it's quite, what's the word, tactile? Is that the word? It's, there's zero, oh, there's a wee, no, that was me moving the watch, you daft bastard. There's no, there's no back play on it, or is a wee tiny bit there? It doesn't matter when it, you put it into the right position, it stays in that position. Is that lined up? Fuck my eyes on mental. Now that looks lined up to me. Eh, uh, what else can I say about this watch then? It wears on wrist brilliantly. I've got to say that. Look at that case profile. That just hugs the wrist when you... I'll show you a wrist shot in a bit. Oh! Talking to what every other fucking YouTuber in a dog day. A wrist shot. What am I wearing? I'm wearing... Check out. I need to fucking sort these lights out, man. Eh... Uh, Seiko... Dress KX, uh, the grey one. I just got this yesterday. I really like it. It's one of the first time. It's the first time I've had this grey version. But I've had about six of these in total. They're just brilliant value for money. Anyway, I thought I'd just put that in there because I'm a professional YouTuber and show wrist shots. <laughs> right, I it wears really well on wrist. Cover that, cover that. Let's look at my notes and see what shite I normally write about in my reviews. The weight, the weight of the watch on bracelet, as it is sized up for my six and three quarter inch wrist, it works out at 144 grams. So it's pretty much bang on, really. You can tell you're wearing a watch, but it's no some fucking helicopter landing pad that's sat on your wrist, you know, massive and weighs a ton. Uh, screw down crown, I mentioned that earlier, did I? Oh, fuck knows. Uh, aye, let me go through this. Aye, options, if you want to buy one of these, you've got four colour options. You've got this coral blue, You've got Coral Red, which I think is actually my favourite. You've got Black Mother of Pearl and White Mother of Pearl. I'm not that keen on the Mother of Pearl uh, dials on this. Uh, I'm just looking at pictures now. Aye, there's quite a bit of gilt accents. White and gilt just uh, doesn't, does nothing for me. What am I missing out? Water resistance, 200 metres. Uh, double dome sapphire. Um, underside AR coating, obviously. Uh, the loom, I'll show you that in the loom shop, but the actual loom that's been used on this is C3, which is, it's fucking old radium, isn't it? It's actually better on this watch than you might think, though. It's just a shame the indices are really small but it still glows healthily and for a long quite a long time right there's got to be something else i've missed because i have just walk on a lot of shite man the the bracelet obviously it's got a taper on it uh, it starts at 20 mil tapers down to approximately 17.5 uh, back up at the shitty clasp at about 19.5. Right, what else is there to talk about? I'm sure I'm missing some, you know. Oh, fuck it. Let's do a loom shot, shall we? Where's my fucking wee torch I don't need my torch, hold on. Let's see. 
Well, that fucking worked wonders, didn't it? Oh, my fucking big light's on, that's why. Let's see what kind of loom we get in low light. Let's turn that round a wee bit. Remember I said at the start of this video, I was just winging it. Well, you're right there. I'm going to have to go through this video and edit it and take out all the... I'm going to take out the swearing. If you're offended by swearing, well, fuck off. Fucking snowflake. Right. Oh, fucking lights, man. Right, let's just get a blast. Come on, that'll do. Well, it doesn't look that good in that picture, does it? <clears throat> Trust me, it is actually quite bright. It's just my camera is a fucking garbage. She, I've just, I've just realised I've been recording for twenty minutes. I was supposed to make an intro. The intro part plus the meat of the thing and it was all supposed to be under 10 minutes. This is the second part I've done it and I'm, I've just ticked over it 20 minutes on this bit. Fuck my life. Uh, what's left? Shit, lights. Ta-da! Oh, you'll see my fucking chewed nail there. Right, there's the lights back on. All I need to do now is I'll go give a shot. I take this one off. Love that watch. Put this one on. This is exciting content, isn't it? Right. Put that out of the road. Fuck. Where's the zoom in this again? I forgot. There we go. Looks alright, in my opinion. Hugs the wrist. I like it. It's not perfect, but any watch is perfect, is it? Uh, right, I think I've waffled on enough for enough. Enough time. Uh, aye, so I'm not sure how often I'll be making these videos, but it just depends how many watches I've got in. I've got quite a few sitting there right enough, so as every other YouTuber says, please comment if you've got something to say. If you're an asshole, I'll just delete your comment. Uh, please like and subscribe. And that's it. See you in the next one. Cheers.